but I hope I'll, I'll keep them as succinct as I can. Going back to the topic that Paul Mortby raised with regard to the um, extra staffing budget, am I right in thinking that the £40,000 could, though, be spent on a salary? So although I know Tanya Slatter said, well, it might not be, but it could be. Mm. That's great. That's that's. Yeah, great. Yeah. Can I have a yes then, and nothing else of the head? It could be, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, but it's a budgeted amount. No, no, I appreciate yes, it. I appreciate yes, all of that. Yes. But it's yeah, it's one yes. of the things that the precept is working towards, isn't it? Yes. Um, and you know, it's a bit concerning for me that there's so so many high salaries. Um, but that's just a personal. Mm -hmm. Other people also, might be happy, but I just think what well, would of course be the uh, on on cost as well. So it wouldn't. Well, we don't Just know. You, we don't know, do we? But it could yeah. be a salary, which yeah. is what. Um, Basically, we've got Bob some money said. there to accelerate the development of the neighbourhood park, which. which well, I appreciate had, that, but it the could go on a salary, yeah. which is a very high salary. Yeah. Um, so, just returning now to the traffic warden, and there was another <coughs> one as well. You said, "Oh, it wouldn't be until the next year." Do you mean the next financial yes, year? Yes. So, I don't think residents in Portishead perhaps are aware of that. That, that they won't get those things until the next financial year, if at all. And I think that needs to be highlighted to them. Well, all, all the budget increases aren't going to be available until the new year, new financial year. Surely that's what people understand. I don't know whether they do. At. I don't know whether they do. They saw that. Some of some people saw that as promises, as part of the preset consultation. I'm not saying everybody does, but some people okay. do. Okay. Um, so I just want to go back to um, the staffing. Um, before I do, can I just highlight that in the last town council meeting, um, Mr. Ken Smith made a comment that he was asked, did people want a first class council? And he made the comment that if they did, they'd have to go for option three. And a comment was made towards him that no, the council didn't ask if people wanted a first class council. But in fact, the town council has posted on its own website that we asked residents to choose from the three options and option three was a first class council because I'd, I'd like that sort of highlighted and perhaps it needs to be pointed out to Ken at the next meeting that he was actually correct. Can I just say something? Do you want to wait till I finish, Captain? Well, it was just in response well, to that. Well, wait till I've finished okay. and then, um, because I think it's easier really um, because it, I'm in sort of the flow now. Um, previously, as part of the neighbourhood plan, 49 people signed up to help um, 14 councillors and 35 residents. So what worries me a little bit is that the new positions that are already filled, the community officer and the development officer, I don't know whether I've got their titles completely right, um, then there's going to be the neighbourhood plan officer, depending on what um, who is employed. And I would like to say that it worries me that if you use an agency, because that would what's it, another 13 percent on top it's a we 13 use, we don't use an agency anymore you don't use an agency anymore no, no. okay so will that be going out to local press and no it can, advert uh, we're doing d.com now all right is it still going are you going to the advertise those positions locally in the local paper the because the plans are consultant yeah. It's, so, yeah, well, the one that we're doing at the moment, and again, it's been discussed previously, is to make the current contract person a staff person so that we don't pay half of our salary to an agency. It wasn't okay, half, so we, it was 13%, wasn't it? 13% to the agency. Whatever, anyway. Well, okay. that's what your staffing minutes say. That's two different things. That's, that's the... Yeah. That that's hiring. the agency yeah. that we yeah. recruited the junior members and stuff. But what Bob's now talking about is we've had a temp in the office for quite some time. So obviously a and large we're, proportion. We're making, turning that person pay. into a, a full proper employee yeah. so that we don't pay what is approximately 50% more than she actually gets through an agency. Okay. And I'm, that's that bit. Can I just... And that, all I've just gone on to yeah, say, go that on. is what we've advertised on the Indeed uh, system. System. It is also on the so notice it's on boards. the website. It's on the notice and it's boards. on the website. The and it's on the notice boards, yeah. is it? Yes, it is. That's that's useful yeah, to know. Thank why you. Don't put it in the newspaper. That's one of the most expensive ways to advertise. I mean, they want like six hundred or okay. five pounds. Is, if it's on the notice boards, yeah. then no, I think that's great. Because having listened to people last week who weren't happy with the engagement, 
for whatever reasons, it needs to be on a, a sort of a, a, a system where it's not online because yeah, people yeah. are, are, are yeah. Another thing about that. Another thing that's offside from that, but something that I've started trying to do literally today, there are a number of places, this one was particularly Waverley Corp, where there's a series of, or a number of people, I think there's probably about 120 people in that place, mm. yeah, um, like they it. don't really have any communication. And so I've been there today, and we're going to <coughs> we're going to start a distribution list for communication. We will e email them all the stuff, and they'll print it and put it up inside. That's good. And what I've asked other councillors to do is, if they know of other places the same, then we should do the same thing because they're the people that don't see the electronic. Okay, that's good. Um, going back to the development manager, and I believe that's the one the manager is that. That, I won't say her name because um, it's on video, um, but the one who actually looks out for grants. Is that, am I right. correct in saying that? So that contract was supposed to be a four-month contract, and it, now it's been extended. So may I ask why it's been extended? Are you able to tell us that and how long it's been extended for? Okay, it because hasn't, that been, it was hasn't a, been extended yet, but it is on discussion tonight and is the last item, which is not a public item. I thought you'd already made it public that it was extended because it, at the last meeting, um, I think because of the way the conversation went, it was very clear that more work was going to be done by that officer. So one of the, someone asked me the question, how can it be done if she's not going to be here?